Ladies and gentlemen, scientists have developed a two-day warning system to predict from devastating earthquakes. Now, this is amazing news. Israeli scientists say that their method can forecast strong earthquakes up to 48 hours ahead with 80% accuracy. This is mind-blowing. Now, scientists agree that it's important to be able to predict earthquakes well before they hit. But they don't agree on the best method for detecting earthquake signatures. And it's not yet possible to forecast earthquakes by seeking signals in the Earth's crust. They've been trying to do it for decades, and, well, it's just not working. Now, state-of-the-art forecasting systems today are mostly based on numerical models. And these are unable to accurately describe the physical processes leading to earthquake events, according to researchers from Ariel University in Israel. A more promising method may be to look for signatures in layers of Earth's atmosphere caused by both acoustic and gravity waves. Now, the scientists in this paper report in the Scientific Journal of Remote Sensing that studying changes in the ionospheric layer, they can make a positive prediction of a strong earthquake up to 48 hours ahead. And this is with 80% accuracy. And they can also make a negative prediction where an earthquake will not occur with an 85.7% accuracy. And this, well, this is historic. These experts from the fields of physics, geophysics, civil engineering, and computer science developed a machine learning support vector machine, an SVM technique. It uses GPS maps and data of ionospheric total reflection and electron content as well to calculate the layer of the electron charge density. And you're looking at the ionospheric tech there. Now, Saeed Asli, Yuval Renuveni, and Liad Gottlieb, as well as Nimrod Inbar of Ariel University, performed the study with funding from Israeli's Energy Ministry and the Israel Science Foundation. And, well, the study is fantastic. And what they were able to do by looking back on data, data sets, was to determine when these earthquakes were going to occur based on the tech here, total electron content, days before the event. Here we're looking at a 9.1 magnitude earthquake that occurred back in November 3rd of 2011. And you can clearly see the peak in the tech prior to the event. Now, the paper has many graphics. But the most important thing we want to bring to the forefront here is that we now have a technique to predict earthquakes six magnitude or greater with 80% accuracy. And that is just amazing. And it's amazing because of the potential to save human life. Now, depending on the strength of an earthquake, the impact on human life can be disastrous. While mild earthquakes can only send a few shock waves through the ground, stronger ones can reduce buildings to rubble in just a few seconds and bring life in a, in a region to a grinding halt. A magnitude 5.9 earthquake in eastern Afghanistan last month is estimated to have killed more than 1,000 people and wounded many more. So it'd be really useful to know when an earthquake is about to happen. Now, although technology is available on the ground to record the strength of earthquakes, as well as determine the exact location where the plates have rubbed against each other to cause such quakes, geologists have not been able to predict their occurrence. And according to the USGS, the United States Geological Survey website, Geologists have used various methods to predict earthquakes and can also accurately state if a tectonic plate will see an earthquake in the future or not using a percentage. 
However, they cannot put an exact time or date on their prediction until now. Now, how did the Israeli researchers claim it? Well, instead of looking at ground-based sensors, the Israeli team was genius, and it turned to the skies to make their predictions. Using a support vector machine that we mentioned earlier, they mapped the total electron content of the ionosphere, which is the uppermost layer of the atmosphere. And they, well, they correlated this with the GPS data to predict the earthquake. Now, in the research paper that we showed you, which will be linked below. The researchers state that when stressed, almost all types of rocks on the Earth's surface activate positive holes that can carry and generate electrical currents. Now, as these charged carriers accumulate on the surface of the Earth, charged ions also accumulate near the stressed rocks, and this leads the currents outward which over a period of time ends up being transported into the ionosphere where it can be detected. Now, according to the paper, the researchers claim that their method can detect large earthquakes up to 48 hours before it occurs with an 80% accuracy. This is amazing. And the researchers in this paper classify large earthquakes as any tremor that has a magnitude or six of six or greater. So it might not have helped with the 5-9 in Afghanistan. But additionally, researchers could also predict when an earthquake is not likely to occur. And we're going to end the video by reading the abstract. There are significant controversies surrounding the detection of precursors that may precede earthquakes. Natural hazard signatures associate with strong earthquakes can appear in the lithosphere troposphere, and ionosphere, where current remote sensing technologies have become valuable tools for detecting and measuring early warning signs of stress buildup deep in the Earth's crust, presumably associated with an earthquake event. Here, we propose implementing a machine learning support vector machine technique applied with GPS ionospheric total electron content, or TEC, pre-processed time series estimations to evaluate potential precursors caused by earthquakes and manifested as disturbances in the tech data. After filtering and screening our data for solar or geomagnetic influences at different time scales, our results indicate for the first time ever that large earthquakes of magnitude 6, true negative predictions can be achieved with 85.7% accuracy, and true positive predictions can be predicted with an accuracy of 80%. And we tested our methods with different skill scores, such as accuracy at 0.83, precision at 0.85, and recall at point eight. The hide key skill score at point six six. And true skill statistics at point six six. Now this might sound like gobbledygook, but it's good news. And what it means is that predicting earthquakes in the future, well, that future is now. And being able to predict magnitude six or greater earthquakes with 80% accuracy is a blessing. It's gonna save tens of thousands of lives. And if this technology is true, and all we need is total electron content, well, with the type of remote sensing we have and the increased coverage, earthquake prediction will only increase moving forward. I hope you got something out of the video. Good news in the earthquake prediction front. Using total electron content in the ionosphere, we are now able to predict earthquakes up to 48 hours in advance, greater than magnitude six with 80% accuracy. And I can't wait to see this in action, saving lives. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and be safe. We love you. And that's a boom. To knowledge.